All right, what's up, guys? We here at the uh, this machine shop where I had to get my uh, where I had to get my uh, block welded. I told you guys I broke off a little corner uh, where the transmission bell housing bolts up, so I had to get that repaired. So we're here at the machine shop right now. We're gonna go in here and see what the work is. All right, let's go. All right here, guys, is who, who did the work on my block. There's a number right there. Address 112, David Street, Mesquite, Texas, man. These guys do good work, real good work. These guys doing a lot of work on here, man. All the crank shafts and motors. Look at we got two sleeves for pistons. Yeah, these guys, are, yeah, they ready. They ain't playing around here, bro. <laughs> man, busy. Yeah, we're here at Ferry's Machine Shop, guys, in, in Mesquite, Texas. Yeah, these dudes ain't playing. Got blocks over here and over here. A lot of LS stuff, conventional stuff. It's the horsepower stable. Tell the people who you are, bro. John Ferry. John Ferry, man. This is the dude that did the work on my block, man. I told you, I showed y'all the picture. The block, was, that corner piece was broke completely off, man. You can't even tell that uh, that it was broke, man. So, uh, hey, you guys need this type of work, man. Yeah, give them, you know, give them your number. You know. 972-557-3565. All right, man. These guys do good work, man. You know, I, I, I didn't know this is my first time ever having to get something done like this. And, and uh... They referred me to come here, and them guys do good work, man. You can see the block. It speaks for itself. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Man, these dudes do some good work, man. You can't even tell. Look at that. You can't even tell that it was broke, man. This, was, this, this whole piece was completely broken off. I brought the block in, and this little piece right here. And they welded it back on. You can't even you can't even tell. <laughs> if I didn't have a video before, you wouldn't even know. That's what I'm talking about. That's good work. I just made it back home after dropping my uh dropping my block off. Back at the machine shop. Just doing the machine work and uh the uh, mystery cubic inches to it. Um, I'm going to give y'all the story behind that block. That block, what had happened with that block, man? That was the original motor in my car. Uh, a lifter collapsed. Me being borderline OCD when it comes to my car. I looked at the oil. Thought it had a little metal flakes in it. So I had a guy that uh, that I deal with as far as I was purchasing uh, engines and selling uh, LS engines, and he happened to have an LSA, stock LSA. Uh, so I, I, I acquired that engine. Uh, you know, we made a deal. I bought that engine and a few other engines, and uh, I just said, forget it. I'm just going to put this engine in my car while my heads were out getting ported. So I just swapped. Everybody thought I had a built motor. It was a stock LSA. Same engine. I just, you know, happened to uh, have, you know, access to one that I just got. And I was going to sell my engine. After I got that back from the, uh, the machine shop, I let them check everything out. They, everything was fine. So I was just going to sell that. So what I did, I, I sold the motor. I posted the motor on Facebook Market. And I uh, sold the motor and everything, had the motor sold. I really didn't want to do all the shipping, but uh, the guy talked me into it. I did the shipping. I was giving him a, man, great deal on it. And uh, so I had the cradle, the, the shipping cradle, the engine cradle that I was going to ship the motor in. And the saran wrapped it all up. And, uh, you know, you had the two bolts in the back of the cradle that you bolt the block to the cradle. And me... Stupid mistake. I used a longer boat and it wasn't threaded all the way through. So, you know, the boat was probably about three inches long and uh, probably like two inches of the end or uh, inch and a half of the end was not threaded. But I, me, 
Don't ever do that. <laughs> I threaded the bolt all the way through. So once it hit the, the, at the section that wasn't threaded, it just continued to just put pressure and it cracked. It cracked it, uh, that little corner. It broke it right off. So, I, you know, I called a guy and, you know, called a guy and told him what had happened. And he was like, oh, man, the block ain't no good anymore. So, nah, nah, just give me my money back, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, I just gave the dude his money back, kept the block, tried to sell it. No, nobody wanted to buy it. <laughs> but I'm glad nobody bought it. So I just said, I'll just keep the block. You know, people trying to get me to give it away. But I just said, I'll keep it, man. And it just so happened, I'm glad I kept it because now the original motor is going back in the car. <laughs> and, you know, we got some added goodies in it, some added cubic inches. So I'm probably going to be revealing that to you guys as we go on. That's the bill. I'm going to take you to the machine shop. They're going to be videoing the uh, the balancing of the uh, the rotating assembly, the, the you know, the the some of the machine work that they're doing on the block you know i i, I got i'm gonna bring you guys all that footage you know them guys were nice enough you know to uh to allow me to film in in, in their facility and and do those things for me uh so you know i'm gonna have you guys take you guys the whole step of the way of the march of of, of me uh stroking the engine and you know putting this new setup together don't let so. people tell you man that you know you can't the block you know man this aluminum man you can fix almost anything on aluminum man you know as you can see from the video man you can't even tell if you didn't see the pictures the before and after you wouldn't even be able to tell that the block had uh had damage that i had broke that that little corner piece off you wouldn't even be able to tell that you know if if you hadn't seen it before you know, by it being that area, you know, this guy that, that did the work, man, this guy fixed, I'm talking about people threw rods out of the block. He fixed it. You couldn't even tell that, you know, man. So I'm telling you, man, you guys, any guys that got any type of work like that that you need done, I'm telling you, man, talk to this guy, John Ferry, Ferry's Machine Shop in Mesquite, Texas, uh, 112 Davis Street, man. Tell them Papa Roach sent you, man. Them guys, them guys do great work, man. Great work. So, uh, in this video right here, you know, let you guys see. <laughs> Just give you one last little follow up before we start to tear down. Let you see old mayhem and his glory right now. But uh, it's going back up under the knife. All that's coming out, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna video all that right here. In this garage, all the work is going to be done right here. I'm going to video it and let you guys see all the work. And, uh, hey, just stick with the channel. Like the video. Share it. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Hey, and keep working, man. Keep working. That's the model for 2019. Keep working. We're going to grind, and we're going to get faster, and we're going to have fun together. All right, man. Until the next video, y'all be good.